lovely peoples. Look at me being complicated. Look at me with shapers. <sighs> because it's hot and I'm tired. So I couldn't just do an uncomplicated soap and not stress myself out. <laughs> Actually, this is all Keely's fault. So it's you blame when this all goes to shit, you can all say, Keely, stop stop making Lee do bad things. I <laughs> know uh, I just watched her um her Christmas tree soap and I'm like I've been wanting to use that one for ages and she's done it so I have to do it now <laughs> but I want to do I want to do it the way I see it in my head because uh, as much as hers was lovely it's not what I see in my head so what I've done is I'm actually going to do this properly look at this I've got my mix split this is two thirds this is one third what I want to do I have a cloud shaper in here so I want to do just a tiny little lock. I'm actually going to sit this on the bottom. The only reason it's got clips on it is because this and this aren't quite the exact same height. So it doesn't really matter, but I put them on there anyway. Um, this, one, <laughs> this one's got a bunch of... <laughs> As you can see, this is a dodgy one. All my shapers are dodgy ones. They're ones that I wouldn't sell. Now, not only does it have a mark on it when it's printed, but it's also not as thick as the other um, as the other shapers because I used one of those printers that I sent back to China just to test it. This was this was to test to see if the thickness was off on those printers, and it is. Uh, so the so the clips like they go on. But they sort of slide up and down. So I've just chucked two hair ties, which I didn't even know I had. Um, <laughs> and hopefully they'll hold it to the right height. So, so already I'm being dodgy. So this is to pour into the trees. Now I'm going to, as you can see, I don't know, you can't probably tell. I'm actually going to do an upside down soap because a lot of people ask why do I have the same pattern on the top. So I thought, well, I'll do a video because I want to do the trees anyway. And I'll actually show you how to use them upside down. And for something like this, it may actually be easier for someone to use the shaper upside down rather than this way. And try and see the difference when you use the cutout, you're building peaks. When you use this, um, the relief, is it? I don't know. Um... It's you're cutting out of the soap, and so it's it's kind of different in that all then I'll have to do is just fill this up. So I won't be pouring anything on it, which can sort of potentially knock it down. But anyway, we're going to give it a whirl. And I mean, if I stuff it up, it'll just be another joke, which <laughs> generally is. Now this is going to go hard again. I have got my um all my oils, my my soft oils, my hard oils and my goat's milk's down in the bottom here but there's no lie in it so you can just sit to the side same with this there's no lie in this but I can see it's going hard already so I'm going to give this a bit of a mix actually I don't even know if I'm going to bother um, because it's just solid down the bottom where the goat's milk is you can see well some of the goat's milk are solid some not so much I'll give it a quick whiz a quick whiz and then we'll chuck it in the microwave and then we'll put some lye in and get stuck in but yeah I wasn't worried about it. it was just I wanted to set it up so I was ready to go now uh, I said like I said I was gonna do some clouds and then I'm gonna do some sky so I didn't want to do two uh, three thirds because that would be too much for the clouds so I'm just going to take the cloud mixture out of this. So I went to the post office today. Today's Wednesday, by the way. Um, so a few of you would have got notifications for some packages coming. I will probably be doing another run on actual Friday as well. Because uh, there's one there that's just finished. So we can miss today's post run. Um, I had a talk to the lady down at the post office. And she told me that they are only closed on... Uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and New Year's Eve. And do you lot not have Boxing Day in the rest of the world? I didn't know that. Till I watched a video when someone says things that 
Australia has that the rest of the world doesn't have. Like, I didn't even know that. Now I'm going to turn this off so I don't waste film time and I don't have to edit it out. Um, and I'll put my... Um, I also have to work it out on the calculator as well because it's better than me working it out in my head because I'll ruin it. I'll turn this off and I'll come back and we'll do some more stuffs. Okay, so I've gone back to this bigger container because I just oh, just wasn't confident that it was going to fit in that blue jug, which I knew. I got these yesterday at um, Kmart. thought I'd get the blue ones for a change just because I had all the pink ones. So Something a bit different. <laughs> We're going to make these things exciting, you know. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to ask you guys. I don't know if there would be any interest whatsoever, but um, I uh, was going to, at one point, sell uh, cold process soap making kits. And I went ahead and got all the things, like safety glasses and moulds and... Uh, uh, lye and colours and jars and oh just all everything you could possibly need to make soap for the very first time and then it occurred to me that shipping lye I would have to declare it as a dangerous good and that's just that's a whole other kettle of fish and I just didn't want to get into that so I sort of scrapped the idea this was back like before COVID so it's it was a it was a thing I'd been working on for quite some time, and yeah. So I have a whole bunch of these molds just sitting there with the pink inserts in them. Um, now I was wondering, would any of you guys be interested in them if I? Because I don't want to just sell them plain because that's boring. I don't do that. Um, would you guys be interested in maybe me painting up a bunch of them? So I think I've got I've only got six. Um, but yeah, I was thinking I might use that same paint that I use on the PVC pipe because that's I've got Rust Oleum and the White Knight stuff there, which are both primer and painter, and they're both really good paints. So anyway, if you think that might be a good idea, let me know. I'm going to put that right out of the way. <laughs> it also occurs to me that I have not at any point here. Uh, figured out what fragrance I'm going to use again that's just not that's just solid fats at this point so let's get that down into there and see if we can't get those melted through with the heat of the soap happening uh, yeah so I was going to try this dark grey so let's do this now uh, this this is a dark grey from Magic Micas which, I mean, seriously, after that red, I have absolutely no confidence in these freaking colours anymore. Um, I mean, that's the one good thing about someone who is who is a who actual soap maker who sells um, who sells micas is they test them and they know what they do. And when they don't know what they do, they send them to people like me. Now, I'm not suggesting that anyone's... I was just saying that there's a cobweb on here. <laughs> I'm just saying it that way because Amanda sent me some uh, micas to test because she didn't have time. Now, I'm not suggesting me. I'm just suggesting any soap maker. Because, like, I have time to test anything for anybody. <laughs> no. No, I do not. <laughs> now, this is called dark grey. It looks more silver than grey. Um, which I suppose in a mica, a grey is going to look silverish anyway. So I'm not holding that against it. I also have this satin blue mica from my Mica Obsession, which is a, which is a colour shift. Now, I don't know if colour shift is going to actually work in soap but I figured there's probably only one way to find out and if the worst comes to the worst it doesn't work and I can just use it for um, resin projects of which I have a thousand to do 
Oh wow, it's gone blue. Oh, it's a pretty color. It's not the color of clouds anymore though. Well, that'll be interesting to see what happens. But it's gone a very like a steel, a steel gray, kind of. You know how the how steel sometimes has that that blue tinge to it. Maybe I'll end it with blue bloody clouds. It wouldn't surprise me. You know, I mean, <laughs> when shit goes wrong, it goes wrong. Now, what am I going to use for fragrance, guys? I need something that smells kind of foresty, which I don't tend to own because I think it's a disgusting smell. We, you know what I'm going to do? Bugger it. I'm going to use this cannabis blossom and we'll just pretend that these are just great big pot plants. Because, <laughs> yeah. If anybody knows me, they'll find that extra amusing because I, yeah. You want to smoke pot, that's your choice. Honestly though, I just, I don't understand why you would want to just be stoned at your gourd all the time. And I don't understand why you would be proud of smoking pot either. That just sort of, and I don't understand that either. So there you go. All right, so I'm going to pour, I'm not going to put any fragrance in there yet, but I'm just going to pour some of this off for the clouds. Now we're not going to need a lot. And see, wasn't that good? That wasn't a very big high horse. That was just a little high horse. And I didn't even say very much because I know how many people I will spend <laughs> probably. No, I don't care. Oh, dear. I, have, I have made my views on drugs very clear before. And apart from prescription drugs that you need for mental health, yeah. It's a definitely an interesting colour. I don't actually think you guys are even going to get how nice it is. It's, it's grey, but it's also blue. I don't know that there's going to be a lot of shift in it. Now, I'm just going to put that to the side for now. Um, it has occurred to me that I also have no blue over here, so I might go get some of that. I also got the green while I was at it. But my plan here is to have really, really dark trees, right? So I want just a really light sky. Um, because I really, really want the trees to stand out. I'm down, down <laughs> to my last spoon. So I'm not going to put a whole lot in here. Just probably yay much. Yay much, yep. That's the that's technical term, yay much. <laughs> All right, so let's move the fragrance before I knock it flying and let's get this mixed. Well, hello, green. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Oh, Mr. Froggy reckons it's going to rain. All right, good on you. Oh, we could do with it. It's 30. 30.6. It's come down a degree since I've been in here, which is good. Certainly not complaining. But yeah, that's definitely green. It should go back to blue, though, because um, that cerulean frost usually goes back to a nice blue. I might put a bit of um, titanium in there. What I want to do, though, is I want to put some of this fragrance in here and just see what it does. Not much of anything, really. No, that's just my bubbles. We always have lots of bubbles. I can also see that this is not mixed up from all the corners either. All right, well, that's great. So we're going to put that to the side then. And I'm going to put a bit of fragrance in there. And then the rest of that goes over there. So let's get this mixed up. And then this one I'm actually going to stick blend until it's thick because I want to do the clouds fairly thick and because that's already mixed up we need this done quickly for that but we can wait for this to set up to pour the um, the tree color in because I haven't put the lie in it yet so I have been somewhat sensible yeah that's not very big <laughs> I don't believe it i really don't like how is anybody this unlucky when it comes to these shapers 
No, I'll rephrase it. How is the creator of these shapers so unlucky with these shapers? It's just, it boggles the mind. Do the wrong. <laughs> Oh, I need, I bought a little, um, a little desk fan, but it's a USB. I don't have any USB, anything to plug things into out here. Oh, but I'm going to have to get one of those, I think. I put the floor fan on, but, but the mic picks it up and makes everything, like, seven times louder. And then I have to adjust the, that's more editing, and I just don't want to edit. That's not going to stand up. That's not going to stand up. Ah. It's just hilarious now. Like, yeah. Well, why don't we just we'll just leave that alone for a minute because it's all like chugging across the room. I'm just gonna get all the bottoms of this and make sure that they're all mixed up. This is a beautiful green. <laughs> it's a pity it's the colour of the sky. Oh, it's it's the colour of the sky on. Uh, uh, an alien planet. Maybe I just watched too many sci-fi movies. So Dad he rings me up yesterday. Oh, I watched this really good movie on Netflix. And it's all about this this doctor and they kidnap someone and they give someone an epidural so they can cut one of their bits off or something. I'm like, that does not interest me at all. He goes, what really? I said, no. I said, is there any sci-fi on it? He goes, no. Nah. I said, well, it <laughs> probably won't interest me. Oh, horror movies and like sci-fi and you know, I'll tolerate rom-coms. I don't know. I won't say that. I quite like rom-coms, but those make me cry. So, and and it'll be an ugly cry, and I don't want to do that <laughs> anymore. This is close to being ready. Like, if I put that down in there, right, and then sort of drag the... You can see it's not... It's still falling back in on itself, but not a lot. No, you can't actually see that. I can't hold it. See how it's sort of, it's falling but not a lot. So it's almost there, but I've managed to mix most of the bubbles out of it, it looks like. So I don't necessarily want to stick blend it anymore, but I want it harder. I'm going to stick blend it because I want it harder. I want, I want one to succeed. Just one. God damn it! It's really hard to stick blend that small amount of soap. Uh, we're just going to go with it now because that's about as thick as I'm going to manage to get it without having every single bubble from the entire universe in there. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, I'm not looking forward to summer. I'm going to have to just start coming out here and soaping at night again. I know my resin projects, it's just. It's going to be too hot in here through the day, so I'm going to have to start doing that at night anyway. Yeah, look, that's thick enough. Well, we'll go with that. Just see if we can't get a few of the bubbles out. It's definitely thicker than it was before. I'll show you. If I drag that through there now, there's barely any movement. See that? So it's definitely thicker. Now, this has a lump on that side, right, okay. Well, it doesn't matter really anyway. I'm just going to just plop this in here all the way through. There may not be enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> See, yeah, it didn't, have, didn't make enough. <sighs> Once again, that's fine. What I can do... What you can do, if you, if you think you have enough, but it won't spread out well enough. Now, you've got to take my advice with a, with a grain of salt, because my advice mostly is theory. In that, like, I theoretically know how these should work. <laughs> theoretically, right? So I've just put a whole bunch up in that end. So as it, as it slides down, it's going to push that excess into the places where there is none. So, oh, and you know what? I think there's going to be enough. I'm just going to just push that up there like that. 
Ooh, push that right up to the front and then we're gonna go draggy draggy yep okay we're gonna go back to the start because I can see that I missed the first corner so let's go back up there like that and then we're just gonna go draggy draggy beautiful beautiful and have too much so there you go oh but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and just put a little bit here so that I can see that on the top of the that big cloud there it's just missed just a little bit so and that did it perfect so if I don't fuck the rest of it up <laughs> at the very least this cloud is right <laughs> so let's see if we can do the rest of it right just getting out the excess off the end because I will put this soap in a little sample square so I can give that away to my lovely customers because I do like my customers because you allow me to do stupid shit like this <laughs> and I also get to go see you guys do this better than me all right cloud layer actually worked now this has set up unfortunately so this is where things will go horribly wrong I should not have put the fragrance in this one learn from my mistakes I was doing well until this point so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just put this in nice and gently well as gently as I possibly can I'm not particularly gentle when it comes to anything but yeah just just little bits and then what I'll do is because this is going to leave air pockets once I've got all of it in here and all of it covered I'll give it a bang down because usually well that's a bit much if you give it a bang down once it's got like an even top it doesn't seem to wreck the the design as much I don't know if that will work or not this is almost ready for scraping of the trees actually it's a good consistency it's not a very good consistency to be putting on top of the cloud I may screw up the cloud but hopefully we'll get something right oh dearie me the good thing is though is we don't have to worry about being quick with this part and getting um, getting it ready to pour that because that's not even made yet so that's nice and not as stressful I've got to say <laughs> oh this is so messy god yep Tierra and Keely are both right these things are messy my hands are just covered in mixture all right okay so I need to give my little hand a rest there so I'm going to go and give this a bang down over on the table where it's solid I've seen there's a few bubbles come up you see this one there um, now again <laughs> I'm thinking there's not enough mixed in here for the shaper <laughs> whether once again I'm just imagining things so just stop using paper towels for a minute now before that sets up any further I'm going to take this out and put this in here now a word to the wise I have mentioned this before do not leave your clips on your bloody shapers if the soap sets up in there you have to break the seal and the only person who has ever broken a shaper clip shape a clip left that those on there and then tried to get them off the next day and they snapped 
So don't do it. Learn from others' mistakes. I would have just thought it was kind of obvious. I mean, I'm not blaming that lady or anything, but I just would have thought you just would have taken them off. But, um, yeah, apparently not. But, you know, I've got to remember that people think about things differently than me, so... We all think differently, don't we? And just, you don't realise it until someone says something and you go, what? Really? I never thought of that, you know? So, I think it's kind of cool how we just, a lot of us approach things differently. Certainly makes for an interesting world. Now, where have I got me trees? Where have I got me trees? My trees are not deep enough. Even if Yep. Even if we scrape what's extra, they're not deep enough. So I may have to just make them a little deeper, which is not a drama. I just don't really want to dig into the... Um, into the grey, that's all. But I can see where it's missing. I tell you what, this um, rubber band does not slide. Yeah, so it's nowhere near deep enough. The, ru the rubber band doesn't slide like a shaper clip does, that's for sure. I'm not in that cloud, am I? No. Alright, I'm going to start back at the start again now. And I'm going to push this down. Bring this all back. Just so it's got more of a chance now that it's higher. Alright, so... It's really hard to pull this because of the rubber band. I'm noticing like the rubber band's sort of really, it's really fighting me. Uh, and there's also mix on the back. <laughs> All right, you go in the front. My head's in the way, isn't it? I'm sorry. I'm just, I can't, I can't feel what it's doing. This has gone ricey. What the hell? Look at the mix. It's gone real sort of... It's not smooth anymore. What's going on with that? And it's not pulling through because it's so... It's, got, it's like mashed potato. Almost. <sighs> Shapers hate me, don't they? Shapers hate me. It's the, it's, the, it's the foregone conclusion, people. But I don't think this this consistency is just not going to work, I don't think. How about we try it from the other end and see if it's doing the same thing. I don't imagine it wouldn't be. Yeah. It's just pulling apart because it's just the consistency of it is just like mashed potato. That's so weird. I imagine this is the consistency that everyone was talking about with the, um, uh, the, whatchamacallit, uh, the coconut cream. Is this, is this kind of what it was like? Because this is gross. Like, it, it feels weird. It's just, like, chunky. Huh. It's, like, chunky. That's so weird. Oh, so weird. Let's put that down in there. Let's see if we can't drag that. No, it doesn't want to do it. Because it's just... 
the soap is not sticking to itself right this is this is where we're having troubles right here now is this soap when I put it back in look at it it's just not sticking to itself I don't know how to get it to stick to itself <sighs> I hate I hate I hate I do I hate I'm hating on the shapers right now hating on this fragrance I'm just hating in general right now <laughs> Yeah, I can't get it to, just cannot get it to stick to itself. Push that down hard on itself and see what happens. Let's see what happens there. Well, it's stuck when I shoved it on itself. Hmm, very interesting. I don't know. So I've never played with a, a fragrance that sort of looks like this before. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Oh, God, this is about to turn off. Righto. Okay, sure. Turn off, see if I care. I'll beat you to it. Or not. It beat me to it. <laughs> I couldn't touch it quick enough. Alright. I don't think I can do much more with this. I think we're just going to have to roll with what the soaping gods have given us here. So, I don't know that it's going to be... I have the feeling it's going to be a little lumpy this is a little lumpy so yeah but at least we know that we can pour the next lot in if we just put the fragrance in it and just pour it it will should be nice and fluid so, but this is <laughs> and you see how solid this is now like look at this like look at it it's just solid it's a mass so this obviously and I didn't mix the shit out of this one so it, this actually does accelerate and well I think it's one of these ones that initially doesn't and then as soon as it does it just goes and goes and goes so yeah maybe not the best one to be mucking about with <laughs> look at me I'm a mess I'm a mess I'm a mess without all this soap shit on me Oh. Okay, now I don't think we'll have a need for any of that. This is just hair ties that are never getting used in hair again. Oh, yeah, they definitely won't be because I'll be shaving mine off soon, so I'm just sick of it. Sick of it! As I said in today's update because today is Wednesday if I manage to upload the video tonight <laughs> my I don't think my hair suits my personality because it's just it's too pretty and it's too sort of like everyone everyone thinks the curls are pretty and it's like if one more person tells me how pretty my hair is I'm probably gonna punch them in the face so you guys are all gonna say it in the comments now aren't ya <laughs> I know you lot I know you guys, you're all a bunch of shit stirrers, that's why you like my channel. <laughs> it's not the soap, it's the shit stirring. But seriously though, I just, I don't like my hair and you know how when you're just not comfortable in your skin and it's just one thing and you just put up with it, well I'm kind of sick of putting up with it, I think it's time for a change. So, oh that one has got no dye in it so that needs a better clean it's a different clean all right so i'm going to put this back in the microwave and i'll have to clean this spatula i think all right well i'm going to turn this off and then i'll come back when this is all ready to pour in there. when well when i've got the line here we're ready to go oh, i can't that's what's going on <laughs> i can't touch the off button hockley dockley who's back we just big. 
Vic is Blick. <laughs> okay, so the lye is in here. I gave it a bit of a little bit of a melt. I think I put it in there for like 30 seconds. Just kept an eye on it. Now, before I even attempt to do this with the stick blender, blender? Oh, it's apparently it's a New Zealand blender too. I'm going to put a, a shit ton of green in here because I want it to be nice and dark. So I wanted forest vibes. Now this fragrance, I forgot what I was working with. Once it's in the soap, you can't smell it. That's not good. Good at all. Now I just want this just nice and emulsified. I don't want to fart ass around with it too much because I don't want it to get thick. So actually what I might do, you know what? I think I'm going to stir the fragrance in by hand. Because it doesn't need to be stick blended because it doesn't rice or anything. When it doesn't rice or anything, there's no point. There's no point. I think I know what I'm talking about. Some days I do. So my books arrived today. That was pretty good. Oh, just put those on. The, I've done everything, everything on my list except put the rubbish out. I had everything done on my list that I had to do today except for the rubbish out which I will do because it's full and so that means I will have time tonight to add a bunch of stuff to the website which is what I was aiming for so I have to I have like a master to-do list and then like a minor to-do list so that like I have really important things that I had to go to the post office that was really important because I didn't go Monday and I didn't go yesterday and I was feeling really bad that I hadn't got everyone's packages out and um, so I got that done and so yeah so hopefully I'll have time to add a bunch of stuff to the website and then also do a bit of moving of some furnitures around I'm sick of not having anywhere to wrap packages, mate. I tell you what. Dodgy boxes sitting on a lounge. That's where I'm currently wrapping things and it's friggin' annoying. Do you know how hard it is to cut wrapping paper straight at the best of times? Let alone when you're sitting on it when it's on a wobbly dodgy box on a lounge. <laughs> now obviously this is not as tall because we took all of that out, but I'm also not. I'm not keen on doing anything on the top because the top is going to be the bottom. So what I might do, I'm not even going to put glitter on it. Uh, what I might do is wait until this is unmolded and then maybe just chuck like some glitter or something on it. I don't know, but yeah, because those clouds are going to be the top, this is it. Now, how beautiful is that colour? You, you've got to agree with me. I mean, I don't like green, although apparently I do. <laughs> but that just looks like black to you, doesn't it? It really does. It's not, though. It's just... I oh, can't... That's, gonna, that's a little too wobbly yet. Uh, you can't really see. It's just... It's absolutely beautiful colour. That's the elusive from my micro obsession. All right, so I'm gonna leave that there because that other because the uh, other one was just super long, although I'm gonna probably do some chipmunk voice in that, seeing as you guys love it. I mean. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I enjoy putting chipmunk voice in there because I get to do it in editing, and I always play that bit back and listen and laugh at myself, especially my laugh, because like, <laughs> it's, it's a funny laugh when it's chipmunk. <laughs> All right, well, I'm super excited about cutting that one tomorrow. I'm not so super excited about taking a photo for Instagram because I don't think this one's going to go on Instagram. I think this one's just going to go just on YouTube. I think once it's cut, maybe it'll go on Instagram. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for coming along on another one of my stupid adventures with these stupid shapers. I don't know. I want to say I give up and that's it. I'm never going to use them again. But we all know that that's not true. So, <laughs> yeah. That's not going to happen. I'm going to keep using them and I'm going to keep making a fool of myself and I'm going to keep not caring because, like, at the end of the day, I do get a massive amount of pleasure out of playing with them as much as they stress me the hell out and make me look like an idiot, but that's fine. So, all right, done with these horrid things. 
Best part about, oh, I can show you my fingernails now. Best part about soaping is taking gloves off. Look, look. Oh, do it that way. Maybe it'll focus. Yeah. So, someone said, I got glasses yesterday at Spec Savers and I got ones with glitter in them and the dude that served me, oh, she said, he said, glitter really is a way of life for you. I said, yeah, because he saw my nails. Uh, and I said, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> so I said, I make soap. I said, nearly every single one has glitter on it, including the boys' ones. I said, I don't care. Glitter is the bomb. All right, guys. I'll show you my new glasses when I get them. Two weeks. Oh, wait, two weeks. All right. I will see you for the cutting. Ta -da. Oh, look, I can touch the off button now. Hey, kids. You'll probably be able to hear the wind. It's pretty wild out there. Um, I started a little early. I want to show you just the ridiculous amount of bloody soda ash on this. Now, this is discounted fairly heavily. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. The heat out here, maybe. I'm honestly at a freaking loss for why this would ash so bad. And the last one did, and it was discounted too. So I don't know. But all I know is I nearly come out here at three o'clock this morning to cut this because I was so excited. <laughs> because I need to see it. I need to see how badly I failed. <laughs> well, it doesn't look too faily. It's got a lot of holes, as you can see. So there's that. Which we knew would happen because I had to plonk that in. Plonk is a word in Australia that can be used in two ways, although I don't use, think it's used in the second way so much anymore. Plonk used to be a word for like cheap wine. It's also a word to just drop stuff in somewhere so all right shall we cut it now this fragrance is pff, i don't even have gloves on because i can't imagine the smell's going to bother me overly much so it's a very very faint and hopefully the middle looks better than the end the middle looks so friggin good the clouds are screwed <laughs> and that's not a good example of what it looks like. There's some fragrance leakage I'm seeing and some particularly odd discoloration. So see how there's like this this green which is supposed to be blue, that's right. It's um yeah and the clouds are not real crash hot so <laughs> but yeah I don't hate it, I've got to say. I'm, I'm a little disappointed with this tree here. But we knew this was going to happen because it was just not right. Oh yeah, the mix looks like it's... I don't know. I think, I think it's going to discolour, honestly. Because it's got that kind of ghost edge around it and it's supposed to be blue, so... But I'm sure that Cerulean Frost comes back. The elusive looks absolutely glorious. That dark green is just, I mean, seriously, is that not the nicest green? Um, <laughs> I did a little swirly thing on the bottom. I shouldn't have done it, but I'll probably plane it off. And yeah, there's a few holes here and there, just because, you know, like I said, we had to plonk it in. So hopefully it will go blue. Because as it stands right now, we have a, a, a dodgy grey cloud, a green sky, and some trees. <laughs> some somewhat dodgy trees. Well, this could just be a dodgy forest. <laughs> so, so I'm just going to call it dodgy forest. Seriously, that is what I'm going to call it now. Dodgy forest is a big giant hole. <laughs> it's a dodgy soap. But I mean, seriously, you get the idea. At least now I know not to use that fragrance for anything too fancy. It was just such a weird texture, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it's done considerably better than I was expecting, considering the texture of the soap batter. So, I mean, we actually have some definition, especially in the, the tall middle tree. I didn't think there would be any definition in that because that 
soap texture was so weird which you know <clears throat> sort of reaffirms in my mind that this shaper can work it just needs the right set of circumstances <laughs> to work and obviously we didn't have the right set of circumstances on the day and that's fine so yeah that's I mean that's got some serious issues going on there look at that right around the top around the edge of the tree so weird hmm but yeah I'm not hating it I'm, I'm pretty happy actually I would suggest this is probably one of my better attempts at um but you know I mean I did it almost right if I hadn't played around with the clouds for so long I think the clouds would have been a little bit better um, but I did fart ass around with them a bit so you know I'll see you on Monday no doubt for whatever soap boy make today tomorrow Saturday Sunday whenever I make soap between now and Monday right. bye